crack. But Rovers boss John Barnes found the solution, sending on sub Terry Gornell midway through the half, and the teenager came up trumps. to do it again as Cansdale Sheriff puts the ball in that's dangerous there's the header oh and it's an equalizing goal Terry Gornell scores you could see that coming Jacobson. Now right. Up against Rogers. And going past Rogers. What an excellent delivery. And the first goal has been dispatched by Terry Gunnell. Well, it was asking to be headed home. And the League Two club, just four minutes before the break, finally. Surely no time left for another twist at the end of this one. It could be so. And Cheltenham do get a third. One, the momentum swung back towards Cheltenham when Carl McFadzine was caught in possession by Terry Gornell. He kept his composure to beat Paul Jones at the second attempt. But Jones was... Space here for Cedo Giambarti. Good ball across. Oxford failing to clear. It comes out to Gornell. He couldn't miss, it was Byron Harrison denied, it's a combination that combined for the first goal. Slide will pass, might reach Terry Gornell, who's squeezing it home. Cheltenham back in it, 65 minutes gone. Lovely ball through from Russell Penn, wasn't cut out and Gornell did well to squeeze it in from... On the halfway line, Winard and Bateson, everybody else in the final third. Oh, it's a wonderful finish. Terry Goyle announced Jimmy Ryan showing plenty of pace. Goyle did really well to stay on side, and Goyle, what a wonderful finish. That's a striker's finish by Terry Goyle, but he certainly has Jimmy Ryan to thank.